soms kan het zijn dat er in een mensenleven zaken gebeuren moet dat iedereen stil van buiten. Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Ben Mankiewicz, Lonzo Duraldi, Christy Lemire, Matt Achety from uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so, uh, Bullhead, this movie's uh, not in English, and uh, it's a language that I don't get. I don't really 100% know who the Flemish it's Dutch. are. It's Dutch. It's Dutch, and, and, the, and there's French in it, from too. Yeah, the Walloons speak French, the Flemish speak Dutch. Dutch. But they're in they're Belgium. In Belgium. Who, who are the Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the actual Dutch. <laughs> right. They're the double Dutch. Okay. All right. So uh, what uh, what They're goes on? I will. <laughs> what goes on? It. <laughs> Thank it's you. Just too easy. Um, the... Okay. So Bullhead is the um, Oscar-nominated Belgian film in the foreign language category. It stars, and I looked this up. I'm hopefully not going to butcher it. Matthias Schoenart, who's a total badass, as Jackie. He is a steroid-addicted cattle rancher who gets into a sort of shady deal with the meat mafia. Who knew? There were meat mafia in Belgium, but apparently there are. And this forces him to look back at a very horrific incident that happened in his childhood 20 years ago. And uh, it's kind of badass. He's helemaal and all of you that have been saying is put. The beast is 10% fatter. Ting, ting. 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 So I had not, I knew nothing about this film going into it. Yeah, me neither. And, and I like that. I, I, I'd seen the, the pictures of, of him, you know, very hulking, silhouetted, and, and uh, shadow boxing. And, and there is, we talked about Tom Hardy earlier in Bronson. There's very much like a, a discovery like Tom Hardy in Bronson in that he's just fierce. And he's yeah. just, he's it's not tradi scary. not traditionally yeah. attractive, no, but like but just intense. No, but one of intense. those multi-planar faces right. that like every angle is an interesting one, you know. Right. Yeah. You could he's see why. the broken nose and the sleepy eye. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. eyes, you know. the eyes are really good. But you could see why women would be drawn to him in some way. The virility of him. Yeah, and, yeah. Men, and men would be instantly intimidated by sure. him just oh, as yeah. he walks in He's the a... room. Yeah. But as you find out with this, it begins as sort of a, a mob crime thriller, but it really evolves into this character study of this man who's very broken, and you have these flashbacks to what happened to him. And it becomes so sad because mm. you can feel his loneliness, right. and you can yeah. feel his awkwardness and trying to even just have the most basic human connections, much less trying to reconnect with this girl who he had a crush on 20 years right. ago, and just his, his fumbling, his, his jittery attempts to try to talk to her and just just get to know her, just be with normal people. They're very, very sad. Although it's weird, you know, you talk about how the, the, the events of the film force him to remember the events of 20 years ago. I get the feeling that he never forgot. He's never stopped thinking right. about the events of right. 20 years ago. They are like, they are a daily really? sort of presence yeah. in his life that he's yeah, haunted by. Definitely, yeah. like we see at one point, you know, there's some flashback in it, but then we see the kid, him 20 years ago, in his own apartment, you know, as he's sort of looking at himself. And I, I get the feeling that, that that goes on all the time. Yeah. For him. But because he has to revisit the people who were pivotal to that moment. He does. The, guy, the guy who was right. his best friend, right. the girl he had the crush but on. But his abuse of steroids is related and everything to what right. happened to him. So I think he never I think it's never gone from mm -hmm. yeah. Can I, do yeah, I, I, I thought it was to me one of the th interesting things this movie does is it takes what would otherwise be kind of a stock boring character, you know, the roid addicted thug and explains him and makes you feel for him as a real person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where I think the strength of this movie is. I felt, story-wise, though, they dropped the ball. And, and at the end of the film, I didn't care for the end because I felt like it kind of slips back into almost a cliche of what you would expect out of that character. Whereas otherwise, they really humanize him. And, and for a long time, you kind of don't know where the movie's going. Like, what's, yeah. you know, you don't yeah. know what he's gonna do. You don't know what's gonna happen. And then kind of at the end, it's, I felt yeah, it, it, it got very it, cliche. It, it starts out, like you said, like this sort of, you know, about the hormone mafia or whatever, you know, in the cattle ranching world. Uh, and then it becomes this character study. But then I felt like by the end, it got too interested in the crime part again. And I was not, right. I was more interested in the characters. And I was like, oh, I really don't care if the police figure out who shot the detective and the whatever. I say that the crime part is, is crucial to his eventual emotional catharsis. And so that still is first and foremost his his evolution, right. his having to confront you know what happened, and in an ancillary way, this cop procedural has to have its closure as well. So I would say it remains about him. I I'm struck by how well the Europeans, the in this case, the Belgians, 
Um, and how well Europeans do uh, criminals. Like, they're kicking our ass <laughs> in movie criminals. Like, these guys are, you know, again, none of us knew that there was a meat mafia. Mm -hmm. But right. we mm -hmm. instantly believe now that there there's, is a meat, there's a meat mafia. Well, it's they don't have guns. Don't, they have to be more interesting right. than American criminals. That, 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 that may so be it, mafia, but I mean, yeah. these characters don't feel to me sort of stereotypically drawn. It happens again and again and again when I see it. Uh, when I see a, almost any European movie, when I see an Israeli movie, like the criminals, they're people, and, and therefore they become to me far more interesting than sort of the stock characters in the long, the oh. kind of the kind of criminals who were in This Means War, even though they weren't really important to that right. story. But although remember, we get we get the good stuff from Europe. Like, uh -huh. they, they skim the top and that's what they export. Like, if you get, I had that French TV channel on cable for a while, mm -hmm. and yeah, there's a lot of French movies that aren't good, as it turns out. <laughs> of course, we yeah. Just, you right. think they're all great because we get all the good ones sent over here, you know. All right, I just think we could, one thing we could learn is to, uh, Absolutely. Is to humanize the, the, right. the, 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 the bad like, guys. Like this one, there's something like District B-13, where mm -hmm. you've got great action, but the characters are moronic. Yeah. Um, if we're going to compare this to American films at all, this reminded me, I don't know if it reminded you guys, just tonally in terms of its use of color of a David Fincher film in a lot of ways, there was something kind of muted and kind of seamy about its color palette. I don't know. know. It, so it, is, that, it, that is, it is one of those movies where everyone always looks cold. Yeah. <laughs> it, looks like, yeah it looked like it was 42 degrees, but a wet 42 yeah, for the entire yeah. movie. Yeah. Anyway, it's good. All right. Uh, numbers. I like the characters, but the story I, I was disappointing. I, I can only really give it a six. Eight points. Also, I, I, it loses points because my wife couldn't handle it. Really? It really <laughs> upset her. Really? And maybe that's a warning for some people out there. Like, you see what happens to the main character, Jackie, as a kid, it and is, it's, it's horrific. Brutal. It is brutal. And you know, part of it is that the kid kind of looks like my stepson, yeah. but my wife couldn't take it anymore. She, we had to turn it off. Mm. She couldn't take it. And yeah. so it loses points for making my wife sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, 8.3, I'm a mom and did not get sad. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm with Matt except for the wife part. But yeah, I think, I think, that, it, I think that the, 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 the story elements kind of get pushed aside toward the end, which bugged me, so I was 6.4. I really liked uh, the characters. I liked uh, the sort of, I, I liked the, I liked its development because I did not know which way it was going and the fact that there's this roid addicted violent maniac who you clearly are yearning to solve something. Uh, so I, I, I liked it. Also, I don't give a shit about your wife. Um, <laughs> She's a very nice woman. She's really cool. Lovely. Hey, she married him. Hey, She's a very cool right, chick. Last time you could oh. come over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> seven, uh, 7. 7.7 7 from me. That pulls it to a 7.1. So a, a, a solid recommendation to go see Bullhead. But it is it's tough. It's not yeah. easy. Oscar nominee, so it's opening in a few cities, and I suppose if it wins, it'll be in a lot more. It's New York, LA, and Austin this weekend, and it goes wider for the next several weeks. So be on the lookout. Go find it.